Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am super excited because we have some new ColourPop I'm going to be testing out today and I am actually working with ColourPop on this video and in a few coming up because they chose me to be like an Ulta ambassador basically for them which is so crazy but basically I'm going to be sharing a lot of their Ulta exclusive collection so they're going to be sending those a little bit early to me so I can go ahead and get videos up either on YouTube or my Instagram and we have a new launch on Ulta that is now available so I wanted to share this with you so we have a couple palettes here this is the wannabe collection and also the so fly collection I'm gonna be testing both of these palettes out today and trying out some of the other products in the collection to kind of share with you what the swatches are like and what the performance is and get some ideas for looks so if you guys watch my channel you guys know I do a lot of ColourPop reviews but I never really get around to doing the Ulta launches. I usually get them later in the month and then I, I don't know I just never get to putting it up. I'm always kind of doing looks and reviewing like the most exciting collabs so I'm really excited for this opportunity to kind of try more of these fun Ulta exclusives. So let's start with the So Fly palette because this is the one I have on my eyes right now. This is the packaging here and, and this is like a dragonfly inspired palette so this is a nine pan palette here is what the inside looks like we have some really fun colors here there's a couple little dragonflies on the inside as well so this one is the kind of fun more colorful palette we have a little bit of like a duo chrome here as well for sizing reference this is about the same size as like the tinkerbell palette for shadows so let's dip into this the first shade we have is flight path and this one is kind of like that super shock formula just really pretty shimmer Next up, we have the shade Skydive, which is a very light gold. These are very shiny colors. Next, we have a matte called Dragon Tail. And this is a really pretty cool tone matte. I did use this one in my crease today. We also have the shade Speedy, which is a matte with some of that glitter in the formula. This one's more warm and peachy. Next, we have this duochrome called FYI. It's kind of a purple-green duochrome. Um, it kind of looks different no matter what you have underneath it. This next shade is called Colorful, which is a matte kind of peach, peachy orange. We have another matte brown called Depart. Very pigmented. We have a gorgeous turquoise here. This one is called Wingtip. This one is not a super shimmery color. It's more like a satin. And then we have a very dark, more cooler brown called Damselfly. So these are the swatches in this little So Fly palette. Really pretty. I like that it has kind of some cool tones to go with each other as well as some warm tones. So all around, very gorgeous. I think the swatches were great as well. They were very smooth, very buttery. The next palette we have, this is the Wannabe palette. So we got the Dragonfly and then the B palette, also $14 for this and the same amount of shades. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has a beautiful sunflower and then you open it up and you have a gorgeous, very warm, neutral, kind of orangey yellow color scheme here. So very pretty, just warm neutrals if you guys are into that. I'll go ahead and swatch this one too. So the first shade we have is Pollen for You. And I find that these swatch a lot more orange than I was expecting. So this is Pollen for You. Next up is this beautiful, it's like a orangey gold called Honeycomb. It's absolutely stunning. It's like that kind of super shock shimmer formula. Next we have this yellow called To Be. Again, this one to me seemed a little bit more peachy looking once you put it on the eyes, but it is a light matte yellow. Next, we have another matte called Buzz. This one's definitely an orange. That one is buzzed. Next up, we have Sweet Much, which is a more yellow toned gold. This one is, again, not as shimmery. It's more of a satin, so you can see the shine difference between that one. And then this one up here is just a lot more shiny. We have another matte called Worker Bee, a nice medium matte brown right there. We have this gorgeous bronze. This one is called Oh Beehive. Again, that one's not super, super shimmery. It's more satin finish. And then So Nectar. This is a vibrant orangey shimmer. And then we have a dark warm brown called Beezy. So here is the swatches of the Wannabe palette here. 
nice mixture of shimmers and mattes. I would say the shimmers in this one are definitely reminiscent if you guys have the Roaring Hearts palette. So they're not like super metallic, they're more in between. But if you guys like that formula, I think you'd really like this one. There is three glosses as well in the collection. This is the So Juicy Lip Gloss Formula. These colors do exist already in the line that is available on Ulta, but this collection has the special packaging on the outside. So the three colors we got, this first one is called Sideways, and it's like this pretty mauve. Now, if you guys don't know about the Juicy Lip Glosses, these are a plumping gloss. They are kind of a thicker texture, so they are going to make your lips look more plump. The colors, though, they don't show up super vibrant. I always recommend these with a lip liner. So this one is Sideways, and I'll get a pretty good swatch for you guys so you can see a little bit of the color that it gives and sorry I tried to wipe the rest of those eyeshadows off so that one's sideways the next one is honeydew which is this pretty peach I do have this one on right now so that one's just a little bit lighter in tone and then this one is Tupelo, I think is how you say it, and it's like a bright coral gloss. So those are the three glosses in the collection. We do have a Super Shock Cheek. You guys know I am obsessed with these highlighters, and this is a gorgeous, like, pearlescent shade called Double Down. It does come in the floral box, and then the actual highlight packaging is like a light pink. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this highlighter shade. I'll go ahead and swatch this one. If you guys are not familiar with the Super Shock highlights, it's like the eyeshadows. They're, like, super soft, almost wet feeling when you touch them, and they're just super so shiny so beautiful on the skin so that one is the double down shade definitely recommend it's absolutely stunning if you want that very light pearlescent glow i have just a little bit of this on my cheeks you can definitely tone this down or make it super bright and beaming and then there's also an eyeliner in the collection this one is the cream gel liner in the color get paid I think this one might already be existing as well. This one is kind of a rose gold. It's absolutely stunning. I love the cream gel liner formula. It's so creamy, like it says, and it really shows up on the eyes without too much tugging. So I'll go ahead and swatch this one too. It just melts onto your skin. It's so beautiful. So that is the color here, this beautiful rose gold. Absolutely stunning in the collection. So that is everything that they sent me for this collection. So far, it seems like just some nice everyday kind of shades with adding a little bit of color. I did do a look with each palette, including the one I have on today. So let's go ahead and get into that. So starting off with the look I have on in the So Fly palette, I did take the matte, the Dragon Tail Light Brown in my crease and just kind of blended that out for a diffused look. Next, I went in with Depart, just very barely putting any on my brush and kind of deepening up the crease with that color. Next, I took the Damselfly shade and I was using this for the outer corner and also the inner corner to do a fun halo eye with this one. I did want to go ahead and just kind of blend that out and then use a smaller brush to place in the inner corner very carefully. I also took the shade Dragon Tail mixed with Danzelfly to use on my lower lash line to kind of blend. And then I took this middle shade, the duochrome called FYI, and just placed that right in the center of the eye. And I also made sure to go ahead and blend those edges so there was no weird lines going on as well. And then moving on to the lips, I did use my BFF liner, lip liner for that. I'm um, just kind of lined the lips out because I'm going to be going in with one of the Juicy Glosses. So this is Honeydew from the collection. And since these are a bit lighter, I always like to do a lip liner with. But this was a really pretty neutral peachy pink that I think was perfect for this whole look. I love how plump this makes the lips. And then I also took this eyeliner in the collection. It's like a rose gold. And just quickly put this on the waterline so you guys could see the color and how much it shows up and just how creamy it really is. And that is the finished look for look number one with the So Fly palette. Moving on to the Wannabe palette, I'm gonna take this matte 
This one was called Buzz, and it went on a super duper orange, as you guys could see in the video. I just kind of blended that out on the crease. We took Worker Bee as well. I wanted to add a little bit more brown, but honestly, it still <laughs> looked pretty orange, so do keep in mind this palette leans very much on the orangey yellow side. Next, I went in with the dark, dark brown called BZ. This one's definitely more of a warm brown. I blended that into the outer corners and just a little bit into the crease above. Next, I took the shade Worker B, and I'm going to go ahead and blend that onto my lower lash line to tie that in. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this shimmer, Oh Beehive. I first used a wet brush, but it wasn't placing the product very well, so I switched to my finger as usual <laughs> just to get a little bit more shimmer payoff. And then I went ahead and took the shade Sweet Much and just place this in the inner corner with my finger to kind of have that ombre effect, the yellow to more orange gold kind of fade. And then for the lip gloss, I went ahead and used the So Juicy Gloss in Sideways just by itself so you can kind of see what it looks like on its own. That's why I like lip liners with it because it doesn't offer a whole lot of color on its own. And that is the finished look for look number two. All right, so that's testing out the full collection. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with everything I tried. I thought the eyeshadow formulas were both really good. I enjoyed them very much. I do wanna make just a couple quick comparisons here with the palettes. The Wannabe, I actually find it to be pretty unique on its own, surprisingly, at least in my own collection. Um, I guess its closest counterpart would be the Lil Ray of Sunshine, but this is definitely an all matte palette and more yellow, while Wannabe is definitely more orange tone so I felt like these were pretty different all together and then just compared to Limoncello this is a lot different as well but there is a little bit of similarities here as you guys can see them side by side you get the gist of it with that but overall I think it's actually pretty unique to ColourPop and then the So Fly this one was actually really hard as well to find something similar it actually reminds me of a mixture of these two palettes from ColourPop that just launched as well um, at Ulta so it kind of looks like these two mixed together I wouldn't say like one or the other is a perfect match I just kind of grabbed it because it kind of has those fun colors uh, with the turquoises and pinks in there this is Ticket to Dreamland and then compared with On a Whimsy uh, this one I don't know the cool tones just kind of reminded me of that one as well so I feel like these two kind of mixed together would make the So Fly, if you guys can kind of see where I'm going with that, just to kind of show you. Uh, but other than that, I think it's actually a pretty unique color story because you just don't have a lot um, that mixes in those pinks and teals like that. Plus this FYI shade is pretty unique on its own for that really fun duochrome. And these two shimmers on top are stunning. They make great inner corner colors. So. Overall, I think they did a really good job with these two palettes in the collection. Something a little bit different. Something fun if you want to get into spring mode. I mean, it's not really spring here. I mean, it's just starting winter, but I feel like once Christmas is gone, all the brands start their spring collections. It's pretty typical. Even when I worked in retail, we would start spring clothing in January, <laughs> and it would take forever for people to like get into it and buy it. Like Some people would who are going on their spring breaks and stuff like that, but that's just how the retail works world goes they love to start things early but these are really cute I mean the wannabe you can wear pretty much every day with these tones this one as well I think just the packaging's more spring but the colored stories are good for all year round so wanted to share these collections thanks to Colourpop for working with me on this video of course all opinions are my own you guys always can expect an honest review from me I just think these collections are really cute and I can't wait to share some more with you for the upcoming launches so thanks so much for watching you guys i'll have this collection linked down below with all the products again it is exclusive to ulta right now i don't know if it'll be becoming on ColourPop or what the story is there but that's it for this video today thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys